right today i'm going to show you how you can use pixel app for your design i'm going to be very fast today so um let's try to follow me as i begin first of all um you open your pixel app application uh, your pixel app application mine is over here when you open your pixel app application um, um this design i'm going to do um it's going to be on a4 the size is going to be on a4 so um so if you want to change the size um of the image uh, there are three dots on the right top corner you click the three dots you're going to see image size click image size so we are going to change the ratio the ratio of a4 uh, let me say the resolution of 200 resolution of 200 of 1654 um, to 2339 so when you click ok so it's going to change the resolution to an a4 size so this default i don't like this i'm going to delete it so the background so this is the background editing tool the background editing tool is over here so this is the background editing tool so you click the background editing tool you want to change the background to white click color and then maybe you can change it to any color you want to change it to okay let me leave it at this all right click okay all right so what am i going to download today uh, what am i going to design today um from gallery let me bring up um, an image that i just downloaded recently okay image of um okay, digital marketing let's use this okay let's use this image um for design so you can crop your image from here let me just uh, focus on the main design so it's okay like this okay this is the image this is um what we want to design so how do you start all right if you look at this design here you're going to see um uh, you're going to see a picture um, uh, several things all right so we're going to start right away okay first of all at the background you're going to see an image okay it has a blurred um background uh well, so uh, the, the first thing we're going to do now is um we're going to bring our image all right so you're going to bring the image from where gallery let's choose from gallery so you will browse through browse through your photos okay it's like my recent photos okay let's use um this one over here all right all right so um all right let me let's use this over here all right so this uh image is over uh, my sample example i want to use so how do i change it how do i change it now if you look at the position of this image um uh it's it's to the right it's to the right so I'm, I'm in the sample to the right but i want this one to okay if i want to flip this image to change flipping okay let me just do what i want to do this image click image editing tool you click the image um editing tool or object editing tool and you click crop so you're going to see flipping so if you flip look at how the image is changing so um, i'm going to flip it like this so so that um i can place it where i want to place it so this image will be best placed uh, like this yes instead of um the way that one was so this i'm going to place my image okay what will i do now that this image is over my sample so you now click this place um this one this this place will show you the layers so you click the layers right this one at the top you hold it um at the edge here and then drag it down so it becomes um it goes to the background you understand what i'm trying to say so now um my sample for me to lock it so that um i won't be moving it up and down so you see a lock here but first of all let me resize it so that um uh, it becomes smaller yes so that our image uh, will not be tampered with uh, so i'm going to reduce this one a little too so that um it doesn't look too big all right okay i think i should bring it up a little because all right okay it's okay here so i want to lock these two images so you go back to the layers then you look at um this time like padlock you now lock both of them so if you lock both of them you can't move any of them again you see it all right that's the first thing to do now the second step is if you look at that sample over there you are going to see um below it um there is a shape so what you're going to do you click the plus sign then put shapes shapes all right okay all right it's okay like this so this is the shape all right okay what if i want um the exact color on that um on that shape over there so what you're going to do you're going to click your color enable it so it's red ready click the plus sign and then if you want to pick a color i've demonstrated it before so most of my students so you click this side so uh -huh, you're going to click the sample then pick this color click ok and then click ok so this is um what we're looking for this is the color by the way all right how do i all right how how do you um, make the shape like that so this is what you're going to do follow me carefully you're going to click your plus sign so your, your plus sign but before that um let all right after clicking the plus sign you're going to add a shape so you're going to bring up another shape all right so this shape 
we will take this shape you know um, design is all about manipulation we'll take this shape um, look at what I'm doing and then you place it on on the image just the way uh, you think the shape is going to be just watch what I'm, 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 I'm doing right away so after returning the image you are now going to click on your layer icon and then you click on this sign this sign click on it when you click on it uh, select the two um, shapes then click on this merge uh, icon here when you click on it it's going to merge both of the images so when you merge both of the images um, look at how it is so how do I remove the white so you will uh, still on your object editing tool you go to erase color enable it so white is erased uh, just incre increase the tolerance a little so that um you know it's so that it, it will be gone totally so all right i've succeeded in one aspect um all right the box you know when you select this object the box is big it's still big because um the app still assumes that 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 white um object that you, you have merged with it is still there so how do you do you bring um the shape there? just crop it let me just be straight just crop it so you crop it down because it's not you don't really it's not it's not there and you don't want it to be there so you just crop it out yes yeah, so that it becomes are smaller so go to your plus sign again add another shape um, follow the same procedure uh, so that you can have a perfect um, a perfect shape just place it just at the edge you get it just at the edge so that um, all right it's not really at the edge yet there is a way to move it I'm just trying to be fast uh, all right okay so select it uh, select the layer um, icon then follow the, the previous process procedure merge both of them uh, merge yes so uh, erase color just the procedure you followed earlier so enable it why to be erased you know it's not it's not perfect because the, pla the place I, I I placed it you know it's still um, it's not really at the edge but i just need to be fast because of time so you crop it back you know crop it crop, crop the part out yes so all right it looks almost exactly like what we are seeing there yes so you can you can really duplicate it copy yes you see it so when you copy it you can change this color to the other one there color enable color all right let's check if you have it if you don't have it you can pick it the way we did for the other one all right, let me just choose this one. Yes, all right. So you to bring it down, click on your layer mask, then drag it, like I said before. Yes, so it's gone down. All right. So you can lock the first one. You can lock um, the one on top so that um, you can move this one according to your taste. All right. You see, you have gotten a closed design. All right. Now, in terms of the text, so you can lock them also that um, it doesn't disturb you. So text editing tool is over here text editing to click it and then write the text let's say digital edit so you press enter for it to come down okay all right so if you want to change the size you'll see size uh, you increase the side here size rather increase the size here so if you want to change the font i have um, a couple of fonts here so you can change the fonts over here don't use too many fonts so let's look for a font all right i think this is is okay all right okay this one's okay now you can't place this font on this image you can't place this font on this image the way it is so we are going to unlock this sample and move it to this other side so i'm going to teach you um, text placement and um, how you can make you know i decided to make um, this design a little bit different so that i'll show you uh, how you can place your images all right we're going to unlock the sample yes click the the, the padlock uh, this thing unlock the sample move it to this side so that we can place our in our our uh, this thing here all right okay now if you look at this text it's not too very appropriate here like this because so uh, we are going to uh, because of the position the position is okay but is it that you centralize it or or you align um right so you are going to come to after select, selecting your image and then so you are going to come to align so you align left align left align right centralize align right so all right this is the best position that this image can assume here 
so you can change the color of the image over here you see color you see color you can change the color over here so uh, like i've told you earlier yes all right so you can use that color maybe you can put um, a white outline if you want an outline a stroke let me show you what the stroke is enable it look at the stroke so if you choose a white stroke uh, to become look at it at least it's going to make it come out uh, better so if you want the stroke to be bigger you see if you want it smaller uh, smaller bigger i think um this should be okay all right okay digital marketing all right uh, you bring it down a little because uh, there's a space for your logo you can even put your logo on the right here maybe on top so uh, whatever your brand name logo is you can add it if you look at the sample very well there's a place for logo all right the text down here you can you can um add a shape first to divide this um add a shape look at what i'm doing add a shape okay can you bring it down yes you can, okay it's still too deep you can reduce it and then object it into you can uh, look at position when you click position you can move it the way you want to move it you know uh, you can reduce uh, how fast it, you want it to go you know uh, so all right okay it's okay now if you look at if you look at these edges here you know i've told you earlier it's not because i didn't place it very well I was, I, was, I was fast but we can do it and it will look exactly like that like that one so um don't mind um what i just did there all right so the text you can add a text let's quickly add um, a quote to save our time uh, add a quote from here so you can click there and choose any quote you want to choose when you choose a quote yes um, text editing tool you can align it in the right or left all right reduce the size from here you know um, okay you bring it down so you're going to change the color this color here change the color to white that's going to be the, one of the best colors to use here change the colors to white you see so how do you put this quote sign you can as well go to text edit it and then add the quote sign just as simply where is it all right this is it over here so you can still you can move it here move um, size increase you can change it from font change it from fonts you know uh, that's that all right okay so let me move it using this uh, okay Right. let me change the fonts now okay i think um it should be okay position so it's very simple to use so you change the color or you can look for something um the same uh, it's very possible look for something the same so you can add another text here the way it is add another name here the way it is and just the way it is and then uh, maybe increase graphics here maybe the name of the brand your logo either here logo can be here or here to get it so um that is uh what you can do to this design and you produce almost something uh, the same all right thank you